Now for part A, we're asked to sketch the curve C, which has equation y equals x plus 1, all multiplied by x plus 3, all squared. So to do this, obviously we need to draw some axes. So we'll just sketch our x and y axes like so. Don't forget to label your axes x and y and put an arrow on both of them. Now, if we were to expand this, can you see that if we expand this bracket, we're going to have an x squared plus 6x plus 9. But it's more important that we see that it's a plus x squared term. And then we're going to multiply it with this x. So we're going to get x times x squared is a plus x cubed term. And when you get plus x cubed graphs, they tend to look something like this. Okay? So that gives me an idea before I even start to what it's going to be looking like, as I say. Now we need to find out where it's going to cross, say, the y-axis. And any graph crosses the y-axis when x is 0. So when x is 0, you can see that y will equal 0 plus 1, which is simply 1, being multiplied by 0 plus 3, which is 3, 3 squared. And so we end up with 9. So the graph's going to cross at a point 9, say. Let's just say that's the point 9. Now the other thing is, where does it cross the x-axis? Well, it crosses the x-axis when y is 0. And if we have when y is 0, you've got 0 equals x plus 1, all multiplied by x plus 3, all squared. So therefore, any, two, any of these factors here could equal 0. So either x plus 1 equals 0, leading to x equals minus 1, or x plus 3 equals 0, leading to x equals minus 3. These are often called the roots. But what we've got here, because we've got x plus 3 multiplied by another x plus 3, we've really got what is called a repeated root, that x can equal minus 3 and x equals minus 3 again. And when you get repeated roots, that's very important. That means that the curve doesn't cross the x-axis, it just touches. So we can expect the curve to just touch the x-axis at a point, say, minus 3. And it's going to go through the x-axis at minus 1. So imagine minus 1 is there. So putting these ideas together, we've got this shape curve and we've got to fit it through these points. We've got to have a curve then that comes up from here, comes up towards the minus 3 on the x-axis, but just touches it there, drops away and then turns again through the minus 1 and then heads up through that 9 there. So that's your curve then. Sketch something along these kind of lines. I think we ought to put the origin in there as well, just that point there. Okay.